The MI6 chief also warned that cyber attacks have become an important instrument of government policy as diplomacy and military force. And last night, a coordinated cyber attack was launched against a human rights charity which had posted a video showing Indonesian soldiers allegedly torturing two local tribesmen in West Papua. Five other campaigning organisations which distributed the shocking video which this programme controversially reported on last week were also targeted. Our technology correspondent Benjamin Cohen has more. The 10-minute mobile phone video showed Indonesian security forces interrogating tribesmen, accusing them of being members of West Papua's decade-long insurgency. Two men were tortured in scenes that are too graphic to be broadcast. The Indonesian government later confirmed the film's authenticity and pledged a full inquiry. Now the websites of six human rights organisations who distributed the videos have been the target of an aggressive ongoing cyber attack that has overloaded all of their web servers and caused them to crash. They get thousands or tens of thousands of machines to hit it all at one time and there's just no way it can cope. It doesn't matter how many servers you fire up, it's going to melt down and it does. Proving the source of the attack will be difficult. Security experts say they're the work of so-called botnets, a network of thousands of computers from around the world infected with viruses and controlled by criminal gangs for hire. Many of the computers involved in this attack are located in South America. But the torture claims have given fresh attention to the internal conflict in West Papua. This video obtained by Channel 4 News shows protests today in the capital Jayapura calling for a UN investigation, all ahead of a visit by President Obama to Indonesia next month. Benjamin Cohen 